this is part two about the experience of the draft center and also the souvenirs we got. So now I'm going to talk about the souvenirs. Um, we saw this shop outside the draft center, right outside, that was selling all kinds of stuff. They were selling jewelry, magnets, um, I don't, they weren't selling pins, but there was another shop inside that was selling pins, and they were also selling wooden birds. So, we got some of the wooden birds, and actually the lady who was selling them was also the maker. I'll tell you more about that later, but I first have to explain the birds. Um, so, this is a kingfisher bird, and it has a lot of detail, and it can hang like this, and it's very beautiful. All of them are very delicate, and you'll be really surprised when you see the last one. This is the kingfisher. And next, this is the lilac-breasted um, lola bird. The lilac-breasted lola bird, which is the national bird of Nairobi. But actually, this doesn't have a lilac breast. So I don't know if it's completely correct, but it's still very beautiful, and we saw a photo of it, like a real photo, and it looked very, very accurate. So th this is a, probably a very stunning bird in real life, and it's also very beautiful and delicate. And then um, the next bird is the hummingbird, and this one is, I think, one of the most beautiful ones we bought because of the glitter. I like glitter. The glitter is nice. The tail has a lot of detail, actually. And the beak is so delicate. It's so thin, and I think it's actually a very accurate um, picture of the hummingbird because I know that they're very tiny, and I know that they have very long, thin beaks. So this is very delicate and beautiful. And this one is the guinea fowl. It's actually not like the other ones. This one can stand, but those ones have to hang. This is the guinea fowl, and I don't think I've actually seen a bird like this before. This is my first time seeing it, and it also has a lot of detail, and it's kind of cool because I've never seen this kind of bird before, I think. And then this is the last bird sculpture that we got. It is the the same um, lilac-breasted Lola birds, um, the national bird of Nairobi, and they are they are on this oh they are on this um, piece like I think it's like piece of the tree like part of the trunk that got cut off and then like the branches are separated and they're sitting on the two parts and like it's the same colors and everything it's exactly the same like that and it's also very beautiful it's the national bird of kenya not nairobi i made a mistake so the fun facts about this is that these are actually made from jacaranda tree wood and if you know the jacaranda tree you know that it's very beautiful and i think it blossoms in winter months in countries that have winter months so they were also all over the outside of the giraffe center i saw them on the road and they're very beautiful so that's what they are made of and about the person who made it we had no idea that the person who was selling it the lady who was selling it was the person who made it she said her whole family also makes them her children i think she said her brother and i think she also said her husband makes them. Her whole family is into making them. And I heard that the driver who was with us the whole time, he said that the people who live in the area where she's from are very good at carping. So that's why this stuff is so amazing and her whole family can do it. And she was very nice and she also offered that um, one of these days that we could, she could even come and show us where it's made where she lives. And that's, if we do that, that will be amazing. And we'll also make a whole video explaining how that was. Lastly, um, I got some jewelry. This is made 
not made in Kenya actually, but I still got it because I wanted a simple bracelet because I actually lost my last sim simple bracelet. But I wanted this and it also has tiny elephants on it. I don't know if you can see that. And, and the beads are also really pretty. And it's just a nice bracelet. I like chain bracelets a little bit more than beaded bracelets. And then lastly, I got these earrings. Like, I got these earrings, the Africa country. Continent. Con the Africa continent shape. And um, they're very beautiful. I don't know if you can see the shimmer that they're actually shimmering in the light. And they're very pretty, beautiful, and they're also lightweight. And my mother said that they're a little bit too big for me to wear right now, but they're still nice, and I'm going to wear them when they will fit me. Bye! Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, like, and share.